I mentioned the Mandela effect in a couple of my previous videos, but I really didn't go into any details. Mandela effect? Okay, cool. I've actually been meaning to cover that again more specifically, mostly because of a comment I got last time I did broach the subject that just really got on my big old jiggly brain. Wait, what did you think I was going to say? Mandela effect is real. This was just a bad video you used to shit all over the theory. Okay, give me a good one to look at. To be honest, I don't really watch Mandela videos anymore. Because I have experienced them in real life. And shit is kind of old now. Pay attention and you might notice one in your life. If not, then cool. Good excuse. Saves you embarrassing yourself, doesn't it? Winky face. Yeah, I don't know why, but that just got jammed into my craw, and it's the first thing I think of whenever the Mandela effect is brought up. And A, isn't it funny that they have nothing else to say? And B, well, there is a sort of real-life Mandela effect, as in to say there is a legitimate use for the term. It's that people will, as groups, misremember something in a similar fashion. That's not actually what we're talking about here. And it's never what anyone is talking about because I say so. No, we're talking about time and space magic memories. Because it's really, really, really dumb. Speaking of really, really, really dumb... Now I will. This is a huge mind f So if you are up for a ride, then let's investigate. Oh, that's something I wanted to make a quick mention of in terms of Barnabas here. He does that let's investigate thing at the start of all his videos, but... Dude, if you were really investigating every topic you talk about, you might think that you would, you know, actually go investigate sometimes instead of simply regurgitating conspiracy theories from the Googles and looking up definitions of things and then saying that they are wrong because you don't like them. It's not investigating. It's research at best. And even then, just saying things are wrong is no. This is that power. I said no. I meant his crappy intro in the nose too. Gotta hope that triggers this person again. Seriously, dude. Who is jealous of Barney's short bus? No one. That's who. So this huge mind f started with Nelson Mandela dying in the 90s or the 80s, as some people remember it. And those people are everyone together now. Cheeseburgers. Wait, no, I meant wrong. Damn it, I'm so bad at this. <sighs> Yeah, no, Nelson Mandela categorically did not die in the 80s. And anyone who thinks that he did is an idiot. Well, that's not fair. You're allowed to be wrong. What makes you an idiot is when, well, if you don't know what an MD is. Dr. Buzzard, we really need your help with... Oh, fine. Ignore me. I never loved you anyway. <laughs> no, not that kind of MD. And there you go, that guy I know IRL who keeps moaning that I haven't brought back Dr. Buzzard MD. You're welcome. And yes, I do bow to peer pressure, apparently. Next, I'll start drinking or something. Anyway, no, I mean MD as in Mandela Effect. And if you've never heard of it, be Jesus, it's a doozy of the stupids. So if you think you have one in the fashion that we shall discuss, like I said, idiot. But officially, he died much later. I like your use of the official thing, as if what really happened is anything other than what really happened. I mean, the man was kicking about for years. He was a fairly prominent political figure. All you had to do was type his name into a searchy boy between his non-death and his real death, and you would have gotten an F-ton of stuff about him and his exploits. So this is the Wikipedia entry for Nelson Mandela through Wikivand and this is the image that most people are familiar with and they say that he was the first president of South Africa. Okay, all accurate as far as I know and I do notice it doesn't say anywhere there. Or maybe he died in the 80s or the 90s or something. Who knows? Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. It's not like we have clear proof of that not being the case or anything. If you think something... It could be absolutely right, and don't let anyone make fun of you for being a wrong, wrong moron. That'd be mean. Also, drinking bleach might be good for you, maybe, because facts don't matter. In office from 1994 to 1999, 666 backwards, 
Ah, oh, and everything was going so well. And then just 666 six, six backwards, because wow, many wow. For one, no, 999 is not 666 six, six backwards, whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. This is 999 backwards, and it's not even 666 when it's upside down. 666 is actually 999 rotated 180 degrees, sort of. I mean, it all depends on how you write your nines. But I guess that doesn't flow off the tongue and also uses words that I assume you don't understand. I mean, if you did, you would have used them. Also, yes, I did say 666 as many times as possible because I am literally a Satan worshipper because of atheism or something. And also 911. 911, okay? However you read it, you come to 911. Oh, for fuck's sake. You're like a parody of a conspiracy theorist. And I do hear that about you a lot. Barna Abyss of Knowledge is just having fun. But here's the thing about fun. His content, while extremely stupid and funny from the outside, is also extremely boring. Like, seriously, listen to him. Oh, and by the way, 11th president of the African National Congress as well, in office from 1991 to 1997. If he was trying to be entertaining, you would think that he might be, you know, entertaining, throwing a knob gag or something, but no. Also, a really strange thing he does that leads me to believe that he is genuine, he paywalls some of his content, but bangs on and on about censorship. Which, whatever, if that's what you want to do, fine, I don't really care. But it's a bit weird that you are worried about people not seeing your content while simultaneously making it so that a fair number of people can no longer see your content. It's an odd choice for someone who's just having a bit of fun, I must say. Also, if he didn't believe it, wouldn't he just make that more clear to help avoid the censorship? Yeah, I'm calling Antipo. Again, 9-11. And if it wasn't enough for the coincidences, then here it is, the 19th Secretary General. What the hell is that boomf, boomf, boomf sound? Maybe I'm just paranoid, but I got to the point of getting some moderately fancy headphones and an amp and DAC and shiz just to make sure I don't have that kind of crap in my recordings. It's just so distracting. I wish you would cut it out. And because I'm nice, I'm going to skip most of that boomf, boomf, boomf bit. Mostly because I can't think of anything else to nitpick about him because he's just reading this out and pointing out that there are numbers in there in a thing that shows dates over and over again. Seriously, nothing to miss. But Barney Boy, why are these numbers so very important then? All of these numbers is 19, 9 and 11 are used by the Freemasons and the Illuminati to signify certain things. Ah, uh, of course, the Aluba Nooty Tooty Fruity, always signifying certain things. What certain things, you may ask? Oh, you know, things and stuff and what's it's. Got to keep your eye out for those. Sometimes they also do who's it thingamabobs. The most evil kind of signifier. Also, why is 19 an important one? Seriously, anyone over the age of 21 on this video's release, is going to have a 19 in their birthday, you colossal dimwit. It's not a common number because of looby boobies, but because birthdays are a thing. And since it's bloody everywhere, then what is the point of putting it everywhere to signify things, you bowl of solidified custard in a hat masquerading as a thinking person? And obviously, according to the official story, he died in 2013, but as I said, many people remember him dying in the 1980s or the 1990s. And as I said, they are just wrong. It happens. We all misremember things. That's why I advocate for every person to have a GoPro-esque camera bolted to their foreheads all of the time. Can you imagine the amount of arguments over who said what that would solve? With absolutely zero downsides that I can think of, apart from all the pain. But why do I care? My head's made of metal, and thus I feel no pain. Watch. Ow! 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 
Through this video from Planet Niburu, I tracked down a book called English Alive and the author writes on page 54 the chaos that erupted in the ranks of the ANC when Nelson Mandela died on the 23rd of July 1991. Right, he doesn't seem to be getting to it specifically. Hopefully he will soon, but I'm kind of sick of waiting. Right, so for those who don't know, these Mandela Effect people, they don't just remember this wrong. They genuinely believe that they remember it right and that reality is somehow different for them. Like, as if they are so special that they couldn't possibly have simply misremembered how an event played out. But they have a perception of reality beyond time and space. Seriously, I can't even with that idea. How can one be so arrogant that they believe they have never been wrong in their entire lives? Because that's the only possible way you could come to this conclusion. And if you do know you've been wrong, then you could be wrong about this. And when I say could, I mean are, because you aren't faking magic. Now, this is a little bit confusing because the title says 1990. Yeah, that's why this is confusing. Not because the idea that anyone wrote a serious book about an event that never happened when they could have literally found out that the man isn't dead is completely baffling. And you may say, but sick, what if they did experience things that way? To which I say, what are you doing in my house, Kevin? You were warned once. And to answer your question, no, they didn't. And you may say after fighting free of the officer's grip to approach me once more. But how do you know they didn't? Well, Michael, the thing is, Mandela effects are bullshit. And you certainly didn't all just have one mid-sentence there. There is literally no scientific evidence to support them, and people being wrong about things is literally the opposite of supporting evidence. Also, here's a list of explanations that don't require superpowers. The author is a liar. The author was writing an oddly specific fan fiction. The author was really, really drunk. The author thought it was a wicked funny prank, bruh. The author did not have a firm grasp on reality for a variety of possible physical and psychological reasons. And of course, not forgetting, the author was just plain wrong. Every single one of those is at least 1,000 times more likely than the reason for having written that being, the author was a godlike creature who could see beyond the veil into the void and beyond. See all realities, all possible futures and pasts. Worship the author, for they are now a god unto you, and if you buy into their crap, you'll totally get superpowers too, bro. You know what, you're right, that does seem like the most likely explanation. What was I thinking? But I think exactly this is what it is, it's just the title, English Alive 1990. But if you look closer, here it is, this is the publishing date, 1991, October the 1st, which is quite after July 1991. So it is quite possible that this author saw this happening and wrote the book. Now actually, it's really, really unlikely that that happened, because Nelson Mandela didn't die in 1991. You know how I know that? because he was alive in 1992, and 1993, and 1994, etc, etc, almost as if his death happened years later and is a matter of public record. And anyone who thinks otherwise and refuses to believe the, well, fact, is wrong and an idiot and probably kicks puppies for fun. Now, interestingly, Morgan Freeman looks almost like Nelson Mandela. Uh, seriously, dude, that's a little bit, you know... I think they call it racially insensitive these days. I mean, they are two elderly black gentlemen. But beyond that, they look nothing alike. And if you use colour pictures, even less so. Just because all white guys look like Macklemore doesn't mean it's the same for everyone else. Jeez. I'm not saying it's the same person, but it could be. Well, isn't that close enough? Saying that they even could be the same person is utterly ridiculous. And no, they aren't. First off, because they don't look the same at all. And secondly, because they have recorded histories completely, or at least mostly, I don't know if they ever met, separate from each other. With Freeman doing movies and Mandela doing activism and his political career, which also happened to be ongoing years after his supposed death for some wacky unknown reason. 
if you are talking about the actor based reality and interestingly he's playing Nelson Mandela himself in the movie called Invictus in 2009. Oh cool I didn't know that might have to watch it but just because he played him doesn't mean he actually looks like him and was probably chosen to play the role because Morgan Freeman is Morgan literally God Freeman and has basically 99% of the world's gravitas contained in one single human being. If you were to weaponize charisma, you would just end up with another Gordon Freeman. Morgan, oh, God damn it, I knew I was going to make that mistake. It's almost as if I wrote it into the script or something. Here is the cast, you can see Morgan Freeman plays Nelson Mandela. And of course clever people will tell you that all this is just false memory. You don't have to be clever to spot complete and utter horse crap from across the room. I'm a prime example of that. Usually you can just tell from the smell. And this mate, this reeks of gibberish. Which, of course, smells like shit. But let's read what it is, actually. A false memory is a psychological phenomenon where a person recalls something that did not happen or that something happened differently from the way it happened. Look at this. A person. It is a personal experience. All right. Playing the definition game, are we? Well, if one person can have a false memory, then lots of people can. And if an understanding can easily be arrived at, like... How many times do people think that various celebrities are dead and it turns out that they aren't? If it's not magical multiverse memory syndrome, then there's every chance that you are going to have a lot of people with a false memory that does not mean anything other than people are kind of dumb. And any of us had that, you know, like I had that, of course. I remember something, I remembered it incorrectly, somehow differently. Yeah, that's basically the premise of your entire channel, isn't it? Then you go out of your way to justify that crap instead of correcting it, making you come off as even more silly. Kinda love it. But usually you can tell that you had a false memory because someone next to you who have been in the same event can recall the event and they say, no, it didn't happen that way. But this is completely different because hundreds of thousands of people remember the same thing at the same time, notwithstanding the gender difference, cultural difference, location, and yet, they remember the same thing. Have you looked at the types of things that people remember differently? It's things like how a phrase was said. It's how a name was pronounced. And if a person is dead or not. Nothing more complicated. And yet, just because as much as a person being dead or alive seems like quite a difference, it's actually not that important to most people. I mean, at the end of the day, most people in continents other than Africa probably don't know that much about Mandela because they don't need to. He was not in their focus, especially the few years before his death. I mean, his actual death, FYI. So when people heard he died, they won't have known much about the details, especially as the years passed afterwards. And all it takes is one dipshit saying, didn't it happen this way for other people to think, yeah, that sounds about right. And off the misinformation train goes till far too many people remember it wrong and are too stubborn to correct themselves. It's absurd and you need to stop. Does it sound like false memory to you? A personal false memory? Under the false memory article they added a new entry which is commonly held false memories. And they say here false memories can sometimes be shared by multiple people, really. Even though they just define it in the beginning of the article that it is a personal experience, now they change it just because of the Mandela effect. Nope, I'm done. You can't just say, hey, this is the definition and it's wrong. Aha, look, the definition is expanded, therefore it's even more wrong. That's idiotic, and you need to get your head out of your Barney bars. Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope, wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, check out Mrs. Six channel Spoon Star Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships, and PayPal to support directly. Finally, follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-